Food. You want your food? Everything is different. Everything's not the same as other people. Hey, Layton. Hi. It's hard to look at those charts of this is where your baby should be at this age, and this is where they should be at this age developmentally, and still waiting for a word. Is your shirt wet, too? Still waiting for an unassisted step. Right. You want me to get you some more juice? Can I have that? be so invaluable to be able to put myself in their head for 10 minutes and feel it and to know what it sounds like and what it you know what it looks like yeah just having a simple yes or no for communication would solve a lot of problems almost done had this dream when we were starting a family, thinking about what life is gonna be like when this baby came into the world and the things that we would do together. And if it was a girl that, you know, we'd shop together and we'd do crafts together like I did with my mom. And if it was a boy, they'd play sports outside and Pregnancy with Colby went without a hitch. It was normal pregnancy. Developmentally, she was right on track. Such a beautiful little girl. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of friends that had babies right around the same time we did. And one of our friends like mentioned something to Meryl, like, is everything OK with her? She just seems to be lagging behind. The whole time, you're just kind of saying, oh, she's, she'll come into it, you know? <laughs> Looking back at it now, she was behind. From day one, she was behind. I did have some difficulty breastfeeding her. Because of her low muscle tone, even her tongue muscle was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. 
Not that that was super abnormal at that time, but it didn't get better. Hypotonia, which is just lack of muscle tone. There's fine motor delay. There's gross motor delay. I've heard dystonia before. I'm not even sure what that is off the top of my head, to be completely honest with you. Every day was something different. Different doctors. We saw physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech, uh, physiatrist. I mean, we saw doctors I didn't even know existed. Where are you going, Missy? It wasn't just about taking a step anymore. It very quickly became more than that. I feel so good. I'll run that tape. Both Colby and Leighton are undiagnosed. They have no known syndrome or condition. Feet in. Push, push, push. All of the MRIs that have been done on Colby and Leighton have all come back normal. The structure of the brain and the makeup of their brain looks normal on all scans. Bus is here, babe. I know. Get in here. Bus is here. Ready, Colby Dolby? Up, up, and away. seeking input because they don't know where their body is in space. They're not standing, they're not sitting down on their own. Someone's always helping them do that. They're always trying to find something like Leighton. Some kind of interaction, some kind of body contact, that tactile input. Bubbles or book? Look at me. Colby! Colby! They've never really regressed with any of their symptoms. It's just been a very slow progression. Push the button, please. Oh, you gotta try. Hold harder. There it goes. Woo! Pop! Pop!
Look. Good job. You're going so fast today. Good Yay. job. I did. Layton is currently working on using an eye gaze device. He focuses on choices with his eyes. He, he will stare at the object that he really wants. Each cookie or each cracker? Yes. Yes. Cracker. You picked cracker. Good job. There's another cracker. I think he's excited that he gets to communicate with us and he gets to make choices. <laughs> We're continually raising our children and doing things for them. And when they start doing things on their own, it's, we feel so happy for them that they have that freedom and that independence. <laughs> he got really excited. <laughs> When we decided to have Leighton, Colby had already been seeing a neurologist, a geneticist, and her regular pediatrician. And the geneticist and neurologist could really just tell us there's like a 25% chance that this would happen again. Multiple people that we respected, you know, for their medical opinion said, you know, it's, it's an anomaly. Put your head up. Thank you. I'm done up here, Heath. Ready? Yeah. I specifically remember saying to her, like, if if this happens again, you know, I might lose my mind. I might not forgive myself for that, you know. Knowing that there is a possibility, even just a 25% chance, like you're, you're gambling and you're gambling on, it's a human, it's a human life. <laughs> it's not like you're just playing cards. Good night. I love you. Sleep tight, I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. I don't remember if I got a specific call on that, but that's the thing. Any of those things we for sure address. Heath is the transportation supervisor for our school district here in Olmsted Falls. He is at work a lot. Days are long. You'll pull up, and if Sandy's behind you, you can just radio her. I'm a dedicated person. I try to get my job done and do my job well, and I sometimes struggle with that I have a job here to do, too, you know, and I want to make sure that I'm not focusing more on my professional obligations and neglecting, you know, stuff that needs to be done here, things that the kids need. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. I chose a profession that really works well for how our family situation has turned out. Nine beads. 
three for each string. You have three long strings. Find the end. Things that are difficult for our kids to perform are not even probably thought about with the students that I teach and them not even realizing how lucky they are that they can do those things so easily. Table six, will you return the marker tray that you brought over? Put that on the back counter, please. I'm waiting. I don't know if our kids will ever even get to that point. Arms out. A little bigger since the last time you've seen him. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely growing a lot. Good job. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> up, 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 up. Colby, stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. You got her. a big smile on your face, but you're not participating. <laughs> you're not going to help me, are you? She's doing the same thing, walking with, you know, a little assist from behind and in her gait trainer. But it, I think no, it's just She's still up the curve as well. Does she see someone? Mm -hmm. she's yeah. She does? You haven't really heard that one before. Right there. It'd be nice to see if she takes some, some weight. Up. There's a little gentle curve here. Yeah. What would you do about something like that? Like just uh, to make sure it doesn't get, you yeah, know, don't want it to get worse. Needs, yeah, we probably, she probably needs at some point just a baseline x-ray to see what the degree is. It, it, it looks mild at this point. So we start to worry once the curve gets beyond about 20 mm -hmm. degrees. Um, and then, uh, depending on what the degree is, what the severity There are some funding options that we could be presented with, but because we don't have an actual diagnosis, they just have quote unquote symptoms and syndromes that don't really qualify under anything. So, with the mutations that they both carry, the one mutation has been seen in children that have developmental problems, microcephaly, etc. Mm -hmm. But for the disease to happen, you have to have it on both sides. They, they do have mutations of the same gene, but they're in different points on the gene. And so, based on that, it's really a little bit tough to know for sure whether or not this is, in fact, what's responsible. Sure. The fact that they both have it, again, raises the suspicion a little bit higher because mm -hmm. just by random chance, you know, for them both to get exactly the same one would be unlikely. I guess I'm reminded why it's, we don't have to come here more than once every two years. We're not just going to be lab rats. I'm not going to live my life and make the kids spend their lives in hospitals and, you know, just our fun time isn't hanging out and goofing around as a family. We go to the hospital for this or for that. That was, I'm sick of that. I was done with it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Like if we could have one thing, communication would be it. For them to tell us like, what's wrong? Just complain about it. What's the matter, Colbs? Got a bad song on? Good job. Very nice. Roll over. All the way, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's the way. And back again. Push, yeah. You yes. More. Good job. Okay, ready? One, two, three. This way. This way. Down. You know how to do it. Put your head down. Put your head down. Down. You got it. And Music. 
Music with Colby, it's everything there. It's the most important thing I would say that that she enjoys in her life. She likes classical style stuff. She doesn't like uh, poppy, you know, stuff that kids her age are probably not listening to. It's hard too because I feel like sometimes we we don't even get to the answer of what's really bothering her. We just kind of soothe her with the music on her headphones, and we've kind of lost what she was looking for. One more. Thanks, Annabelle. Okay, Colby, you do it. Go. Oh, go, man. Go. So we got the wobbly ball. Yay, Colby. All right, I won't make you walk again. We'll just go back to your it's seat. It's mind blowing sometimes being around friends with their kids and seeing them do things on their own and what they can do. Their parents enjoying themselves and enjoying their kids being independent. It's not necessarily being upset that we don't get to do it. It's upset that the kids don't get to do it and don't get the same enjoyment that other kids do. We're parents in the sense that we created Colby and Layton. Um, but I don't always feel like I'm a parent. I feel more like a caregiver. But I know they love us because they get excited to see us. It would just be nice to get that. I love you. Or a kiss or a hug. I couldn't do it without her. We're just a good team, I guess, you know? It works. It's frustrating sometimes, too, like, uh, I know Mariel doesn't like it when people say, oh, you know, you guys were chosen. It was, you know, they, you were given this because you can handle it. It's like, it pisses you off, you know? We like to think that anybody would do the same that we do, you know? I don't know if that's the case or not. It's gonna to come to a point where it's not just us that are physically moving them and helping with them. That's probably always kind of a weight on my shoulders is what's that gonna be like? Press the button. Press it. Press it. I don't see any blue shirts, do you? I think they're probably all over there with the kids. You ready to do this? Yeah? Yeah? Let's do it.
Until we really find a diagnosis, I feel like I'm always going to have that little glimmer of hope that something will be discovered. Just to end that journey, for that to be over and not have to worry about it, because it's always on the back of my mind. 